Welcome back to another part of Tormented Souls. Anyway, let's play. But this game's sound and stuff like that makes me think so much of Resident Evil. The environment of this game is actually set pretty perfect, in my opinion. And I, I think um, we need to definitely play more games like this, right? Like the old Resident Evil is, in my opinion, the best Resident Evils uh, that ever existed. And it's it's because, mainly it's because of this camera angles. Like, the newer ones where, like, it feels more action-y and stuff like that. But this one, it's such a good, like, alternative that I would highly recommend playing this game yourself as well. So, yeah, that is just my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, over here right now. Um, that's the only thing I think we know what to do, right? Let me just have a look here. Uh, in our resources tab. Uh, items. Uh, we do have this item also that we'll have to use. We do have the battery. We do have a different uh, a VHS tape. Um, so yeah, we have quite a bit to do still, I would say. There is an enemy here that I didn't want to deal with. Um, it just stands there. Push him a bit back. And now there's another one. Not fond of this, to be honest. Just want to walk out and in so we can actually restart, uh, reset the room. How is our ammunition looking, though? Wait, we're out of ammo again. Yeah, we're out of ammo. Again. Not cool, dude. Okay, so we have this room right here. Looks like a Tetris of some kind. And then we have a... Let me see here. What, what can we do? So the top one, I feel like, should be square. Um... Middle triangle, uh, uh, bottom one star. Let's try that. Middle triangle, bottom one star. Nailed it. Pretty easy and straightforward, I would say. Shotgun shells. Yeah, we're running pretty low on ammo, but we have quite a bit of shotgun shells. 21 to be exact. That is actually a lot, bro. So even though it feels like... Ooh, we have another save here. Even though it feels like we, um, we're um, running a little bit dry, to be honest. I think we're doing it pretty fine still. What is this for? Two, that equals three. So one is top right. If I have to take a rough guess. Um, let's go in here. Ooh, okay, there's an enemy there also that spawned. We have another book to read here. Uh, the new receptionist told me that no matter how hard he tries, he cannot unlock the cashier register. It looks like uh, the only one who can get it open is Dr. Sean Mayer, who has been missing for the last week. I checked his personal uh, personal belongings and couldn't find anything more than a piece of paper under his desk. It's like someone erased all the traces of him. And then we have this pattern right here. And I assume this is uh, gonna help us unlock the thing, right? So this is uh, obviously the secret to it. So if it's two, if that is two, 
and that's three. How does that even work? Because it's not a cell phone number. It's not a it's not a cell phone number. And where is this document even? There it is. Jeez, bro. Um. So if two is dead in the center, and three is in this corner, so the final number is two. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a square. It's a star. Uh, I need to check up the password. I have no clue what it might be, dude. I don't know what it could be. Sorry. I'll have to check it up. Is there another document? No. Seems like the password is zero one four one. Zero, zero one four four. What? What? It is a zero four one four. There we go. Found it. So we'll take that. We'll take this. Nice. So we got some healing here. How's our HP even? We're on caution. Not good, my bro. Definitely have to reload this gun at some point. Should we just shotgun this guy? Dude, I freaking love how the shotgun reloads. That's so cool, dude. Okay, let's see. Can we use the coin here? Uh, this light flickered. Got him. Nice. Oh, we got blood? A blood... A bag full of blood. I'm not entirely sure we'll use this, to be honest. Huh. Alright then, what is the next thing we're gonna do here? There's quite a lot for us to do. Um... Okay, let's go there. Let's go do the VHS, VHS tape. <laughs> Unfortunately, we took a hit there. We're still on fine HP. Eject. Take this one. So it's not the blue one. So it's this one right here. And play it. It's the chapel. Hey! Jesus on the cross is not broken on the floor. Father, what happened to the Statue of Christ? Did you fix it yourself? 
Oh, hello, child. Welcome to this humble house of our Lord. I'm the town priest. It's a pleasure to meet you. What is your name? What is it? Did I say something wrong? No, no, not at all. I am Caroline, Caroline Walker. A beautiful name. Were you saying something about our Lord's statue? The last time I was here, it was scattered around the floor, in pieces. God forbid it, my child. This statue has been here for over a hundred years. We take great care of it. It has never been damaged. And let's hope it remains in here like that for many more years. Goodness. Well, it feels like they did fix it. Oh, it can't go up there. We have the freezer here. Wait, should we put the blood in? It doesn't fit. <laughs> Are you sure it doesn't fit? Do I have anything that I can put in here? Do I... Should I have anything to put in here? Okay, it seems like we need to combine stuff here. Combine it with that. So we have a box of medallion shaped molded blood. And then we put that in there. Okay. <laughs> well, that's... That's okay, I guess. Can't use that door. Is there any out the door we could use here? Yeah. Ooh. Job's done. It will take uh, several days to charge. Nothing we can loot in here, it seems. I think the music of this game is actually pretty nice. I mean, the 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 way that they set up this game. There's nowhere else we could go, yeah. Out of order. I guess we're done here. I think now we're just run back there. Now we should be able to grab the blood also, I think. Sounds like sounds like there's two more enemies in this room. I could be completely wrong about it. Should we grab it? Oh, we have the W medallion. Frozen and blood. Oh. But I, I wonder if it can melt. I don't think it can. So it should be fine with us running around with it in our inventory. Uh, no. I think we want to go to the battery area, right? Let me just double check. Um, no, it is the right room. Is it the right room? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Here it is. Uh, use. But let's examine this first. 
GTLJA. It's a floppy disk. Enter a new keyword. Okay, looks like um, a password we're looking for is Martha. Complete. Dude, press it. Goodness. Okay. Isn't this where the battery is stored? Oh boy. We got the battery, it's fully charged. And it's mine. Uh, trying to think where we could go now. Uh, we, I mean, we have the battery. Uh, we still also have this key, but I don't think we have any doors we can open with it. To be quite honest. I think it's going up time here. Up time here. Reload. Oh, there's another one. Goodness. How much how much ammo do we have left? Eighteen. I don't think uh, this way. Hmm. He's still alive. How did he survive? He will survive. Yeah. Um. Do we have anywhere we could use this key from? Uh, this is the wrong floor. Here we go. We have a save room here. Okay, um... I think... We need to head back, so we can actually use the, the battery now. Oh. Oof. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're in the room of doom. Wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. 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 Equip, reload. Not examine.
We didn't kill him. And he's, we're like, we're moving him forward. He's not dead still. Really? Two shotgun shells, my bro? You have examine again, I'm gonna boop up at the... Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another one. What do we have here? A metal disc. And he's not dead. Save. Nice. Should I just run? Can't reload. Okay, so we got like a metal disc now. Huh. Oh, here's more nails. Nails it. Guy is dead, even though he's moving. Let's have a look here. I don't think this is the room we need to be in. That one's still alive, dude. It's locked from the other side. The... Some nails. Another save room. I mean, we played now for 23 minutes. Do we save? I'm not too sure. Might be a little bit soon still. Depending on how many saves we have. I never understood a, a appeal for abstract art. Uh, so let's have a look here. How many saves? We have five saves, bro. So, like, it's a no-brainer. Or raw tea, then. So not that door. No disc. I'll take my disc back, thank you very much. Enemy. Back to me, sexy music.
We have a, a worn vinyl record. And we have another save. We have a diary here or something. 21 May 1968. I am ex expecting. William is hopeful, but is more measured and demure than the last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she has not left my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these uh, months together. She is almost my age and shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings, and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk about such things with William. Of course, I never uh, care too much about it, only uh, about the only subject he loves to discuss is medicine. 21 May 1968. I am expecting same dialogue here. So there is another door we can enter. Ooh. What the heck, dude? Is is that gonna be like stronger enemies now? Oh, here we go. We have a lot to actually look at here. We're missing an eye. Let me just like try and touch everything. This guy has seen better days. The body is still warm. He was probably alive just hours ago. What is going on here? We have a diary again. 16 December 1994. I returned to the restroom where I left the subject and found she had escaped. How could I be so reckless? I have no more test subjects. And since everybody has relocated to the new hospital... Acquiring new subjects is complicated. I will not wait any longer. I cannot stand by seeing her in that state because of me and my ego. I will proceed to administer Maria with the antidote. It's too dark to see anything. A collection of books. Uh, loosen rusty parts. Freeze sticky mechanisms. I feel like that could be useful. Dude, that's so much blood. What the heck? Some smart box, it's shut tight. So I guess that's what the other eye socket will give us, potentially. Okay. 
Did I have no idea where to go? Oh! Now that I think of this... Loosen rusted parts. It's not here. I think we have to go back to the start of the game, dude. Okay. I don't like the sound of this room. Okay. Maybe I don't like the sound of that room. <laughs> oh my goodness. A gruesome experiment. We have another something to read here. Uh, 15 September 1980, we fled the mansion making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing, and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind the trees on each side. Mother held my sister and me in between her arms, and we were inch, uh, inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke, and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by her arm, but wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to react, and lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to grand Grandfather Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second. Grandfather had me thrown inside a locked cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was left alone. Locked inside a cell, a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I am sure I will die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, father. What a sad story, dude. That's crazy. Is that all we have here? We have another... Something can fit in this. It doesn't fit. We have no circular object we can actually try and place here. So I guess we'll need that eventually. A circular object. Of doom. Ah, yeah. We want to go 
Let me see you go, go. Uh, into this room. What do we have here? Oh, this thing, yeah. So, I don't know exactly which room it is, but I remember it's back at the entrance of the game. It pushed me to the wrong way. These enemies, dude. I think it's this door. I wonder if we should also save, though. Feels, feels like we haven't done much, to be quite honest. It's not the store. So we're looking for a... A room that had the mirror at the back. I doubt it's downstairs, man. Yeah, I doubt. I, I really doubt it's downstairs. Could be in the basement. Nah, dude. I don't think it's in the basement, man. It's the room that we had to go down to get the baby at the, like the start of the game. Nah, dude, it can't be down. It can't be, Mabri. I think it's this room, maybe. Yeah, it's this room. A house of HP? We're on caution, man. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. We're really not having a good time with HP. Oh, there's an enemy here. Shotgun shells. Is it reloaded? Yeah, it is. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's a big one. That's a big enemy, dude. Nothing happens. Okay, get those gears. There we go. When Badsh, I need to force it somehow. There we go. My God, bro. Looks like we'll go here. We have a save. This is a save room. Dude, we need we. Oh my God, we need so much materials. We're so running so low on everything. My shotgun shells are still looking fine. Nine. I mean, I'm pretty happy. I should be able to fight a boss with nine shotgun shells. We have 31 nails now also. We should maybe then just switch guns. I think we have to save, dude. Like... There's no need to be greedy. If we can save like every 20 minutes, I think we'll be good. I 
I'm just trying to like touch everything because like oh hi get in me pocket an oil painting of an archangel bandishing a weapon another enemy another book here uh, 15 September 1980 William they have taken the girls father put a, a sedative in my drink but luckily I realized before swallowing it I tricked him into believing that I was sleeping soundly then got up and crossed the hall towards the meeting room where I could see the light from under the door I put my ear against the metal and could hear my father's voice interwind uh, interwind with other men everything is ready for the ritual the Wilderbringer uh, Wild, Wilderberger the girls have been taken to the temple said a voice I did not know perfect if everything goes as planned I will be the next leader of the Pollux sect and together we will bring our savior back uh, to the world answered my father after that they walked in line towards the mausoleum i must rescue my girls if i do not come back with them i hope you can forgive me i know that i will do what was right i love you There's another enemy here. We're still fine. Well, we have a clock here. And we can set a time. eye made of jade so now we have the eye look into my eye and twist my nips oh hi there Day of salvation they came. Oh, I remember this door. So now we have the eye, dude. Hey, look into my eye. Right. This is where the bitch was. It's not here anymore. Like, I'm hoping we're going the right way. I think we are. No, 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 we're not. It's a cross, right? It's down here.
Oh! Holy, dude. I don't know where I'm going. I'm looking for the nasty hallway. Oh, we got something to read here. Uh, 15 June 1967, I started painting again. I was afraid of the empty canvas. So, in, in intimate, so cold, today I managed to overcome that fear. I painted from one side to the other, my brush wet with br uh, crimson paint. I did it with courage. I did not know I had it in me. The colors exploded on the canvas. The dead white became alive, and slowly the canvas and I started to forgive each other. I was so focused that William caught me by surprise. He grabbed me by the wrist and kissed me and kissed my nape. Whatever that means. Uh, you look radiant, he whispered into my ear. I let my hair loose. The painting could wait. Okay, so we're gonna have some trouble now. Dude... Are you kidding me? Isn't this the way we came? Uh, I'm so freaking lost, bro. Over here, thank goodness, we found it. Should we try and make it the music? Boom, boom, boom. 
We can figure this out, man. Okay, that worked. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Some more ammo, dude. Another book to read. Uh, thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but Grandfather and the suited men found me again. This time they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. They told me that I wouldn't be able to escape no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what appears uh, to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even functioning television. There are boxes of food and pipe that provides drinking water from above. The smell was terrible. It didn't, uh, it reminded me uh, of the suited men who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crust, uh, crosses. Seven years have passed uh, since my last entry. The television that offers only local channels is the one thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I, I still hold on to life. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning uh, sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes. While the vomiting only gets worse, sometimes is taking uh, sometimes uh, something is taking over me, something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I am still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out of doom. It is locked from the other side. Oh. Oh no. I try to get past without taking a beating. No, no, no. We have another book here. Uh, 15 March 1927. I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and formed the hand of the Creator. Right now I stand inside the sacred temple, in the presence of, of a god waiting to be reborn. I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollux sect. Together we will bring back our savior so he may return light to the wicked world. Hey, we got a card here. We got William's ID card. Oh, I got past them. Don't want to play around too much here. We took already one hit. Uh, 
Um, okay, so we have the card, we have this icon, and we have whatever the frick this is. Uh, we can move these things. It looks like. Now, I remember we, we saw that icon. I remember we saw that icon. I think it's below these stairs. I'm trying to save ammo, dude. I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> don't ask me how I know this. I said don't ask me. Okay, so we need to figure out how to turn this. Two, three. Uh. Dude, there's no way I could guess this. There's no way, dude. Okay. We could maybe take... Let me take a picture. Um... Then I turn it around, right? How do I turn it around? How do we use it? How will this picture help me though? It turns quite a lot. Whoa, what the heck? My 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 phone just automatically just changed. My picture. What the What? What the f dude, this is so f let me take another picture. Um...
still not. I think it's a good place like this. No. Like that. Okay. There we go, that one's done. That one's done. Yeah, that one's done. Yeah, this should be fine. Nailed it, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Open sesame. I don't like the quad of this. Ooh, nice. High voltage charger. That is a problem because I don't have that gun yet. And I think by now we should have it. Grab a little Saverinsky here. And then we'll call it this episode, baby. We have nine saves. 